for the very first time at Watchers Hub. I would like us to give a standing ovation as we welcome a man I've known for, for a few days, but he's a man of the Spirit, and I know him. And when I know when he comes here, he's able to take us far. So are we ready to go beyond the ceilings of this house? Help me welcome Evangelist Lawrence Oyo! Elana Sade I chant them more I chant them more we are hungry to drink. Woo! Celebrate, Jesus. Celebrate Jesus all over this place. Is it my Jesus you are doing that for? Celebrate Jesus like you know. Yeah! Glory to God. I am very excited to be in your midst this night. God has been speaking about this meeting for the last two weeks. And I'm so excited for those individuals he's talking about. Oh, glory to God. Please celebrate the pioneers of this vision, the Watchers Hub International. Mr. Charles and Mrs. Joyce. Thank you for the honor, the warm reception of hospitality. I am very, 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 very grateful. Thank you for honoring us. And um, one secret to the release of the power of God is honor. Somebody hear what I just said? It's honor. Even the minister will not understand how he is releasing and releasing and releasing until you check yourself and say, what's happening to me? That's how powerful honor is. And I'm deeply touched. My heart goes out to this nation strongly. So I'll be teaching you something that will help you in your different territories to dislodge the powers of darkness. Is that all right? I'll be telling stories intentionally because the impartation lies in the story. Ah, somebody here would have said so please pay rapt attention. Things will jump on you this night. Praise God. Are we ready? Lift your hands everywhere and just bless Jesus. Bless Jesus. Oh, bless Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. It is time. Bless Jesus. Because your shift begins now. Come on, bless him. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. If you are sure it is your time, bless him like you are sure. Come on, lift your voice. Exercise faith by thanking him. Come on, bless him, bless him. Intentionally tell him thank you because I am here physically about to experience the encounter of my life. Come on, one more minute. Raise your voice and give him glory. Lenten sonte balande suta la bakata kaparaba bashakadaya Le fidia sele ondilas 30 more seconds lift your voice and cry Thank you Jesus 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 my lord I want to make you smile. I want to bless your heart. 
Jesus, Jesus, my love, I want to wipe your tears, Lord. I want to make you proud. In the generation with many liars, with many scammers, with many hypocrites, you have found me. You have found me. Set no further. Oh my God, somebody's already breaking through. In a generation with many liars, with many scammers, with many hypocrites, you have found you have found me, said no brother. Jesus, Jesus, my Lord. I want to make you smile. I want to bless your heart. Jesus, Jesus. Show us tonight how we will make you smile. In this nation, you will smile. God, you will smile over Kenya. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Glory to God forever. Please be seated. We have some ground to cover tonight. God bless you. Thank you so much. Jude chapter 1, just one chapter in Jude. Jude verse 3. Give it to us. Let's join it together. Jude verse 3. Please follow this teaching. It will change your life forever. Jude verse 3. Together. One, two, go. Although I was very eager to write to you about the salvation we share, I felt I had to write and urge you to contend for the faith that was once for all entrusted to the saints. Jude, almost 2,000 years ago, full strings, was writing and saying, I wanted to write to you about something. I felt very strongly to tell you to contend for the faith. I believe every one of us understands English to a good extent. Do you contend for something you already have? What does contention mean? Huh? It means a tussle, right? It means as far back as when Jude was speaking, something had happened to the faith, the baton that was handed over by Jesus. 
to the apostles. What I just said now is not strange. If you read the book of Acts, one time the baton began to fall, and the apostles noticed. People are already fighting and quarreling over food. How they shared this, how they shared that. They gave me one cup of rice. Do you see how stupid the conversations became in the house of God? See how they gave them one cup. They gave me only half cup. They must be racists. All manner of funny conversations that didn't used to be. The apostles calmed down and said something is wrong somewhere. This is not what was handed over. Then they realized they began to miss it in the area of prayer and the word. Do you remember? Then they said, we will give ourselves. Notice the problem came to an end. Come on, come on, I need your feedback. Did you notice that was the end of the problem? If you read further verses, you see that they shifted into higher manifestations, dimensions and authority spirit that's an example of spiritual intelligent people who notice a decline and take the right action to quickly redeem the situation so when Jude was speaking he was saying some things have fallen and I'll give you examples in fact it has fallen so much because at the time Jude was speaking he didn't know that it was still fine that about 1,500 plus years after, we are going to have a generation of Christians who don't know what it means to feel the anointing. Christians who are struggling to pray for one hour. Jude had no idea. He thought it had fallen. He didn't know a time will come that all over the body of Christ, it will be normal for people to sleep and somebody will sleep with them in the dream. How you know they didn't envisage it is that there was nothing written about it. Yes or no? Did you see anywhere Paul wrote and said, if any man sleep and they sleep with you in the dream, you shall wake up and you shall declare Jesus seven times. If they told them that the things they are complaining about is a joke compared to what the faith will begin to experience, they wouldn't have believed it. That people will begin to even do politics in church. Jude had no idea that what he was complaining about has just started. The button continued to fall and fall until what we have today as saints. Before one saint can chase a thousand, if you drop a Christian in a campus, Give that Christian one year, the entire campus is underwater. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? But now there can be 3,000 Christians and the place is as dark. Is somebody getting what I'm saying tonight? So Jude had no idea. He thought he had seen problem. He didn't know real problem is still coming. I'm saying all that to say, there was a faith handed over and somebody must start talking about that faith. That's part of the things God called me to do. There are many things, ancient past that we have left. And we'll be hearing of some of those things today. Many of you ask, where are the days of this person? Where are the days of that person? If you follow the ways of the apostles, you will see the acts of the apostles. It's that simple. Those ways have been lost and they're about to be born again. Somebody's finding that part again. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? So I'll share briefly because that's how I found it too. 2011, 2012, you can never meet me and tell me to come and pray for territory. Territory. Have I finished praying for myself? Have I prayed for my family? Like some of you here, you have problems. You're not even praying for your problem. You say we should come and pray for Kenya. And you believe you will pray this night. 
if your personal challenge was not enough, is it Kenya that will worry you? Kenya? Kenya will be fine. I, I feel like some people understand what I'm saying. I entered into campus and met this friend who was not normal. I will hear him behind our office in fellowship praying in the woods and he'll be shouting, Lord, save the students. I'm like, Let light turn on them. He will be wailing, shouting, screaming. I say, wow, this is nice. I don't think I can do this. He'll be going on for hours. Is somebody following? But those things were sowing seeds in my heart. Okay. Elijah's a few. Somebody hear what I just said? That's the burden of an Elijah. That man stood before God and said, I'm the only one. I'm the only one feeling this thing. I feel I'm stupid. Every other Christian cannot see what I'm seeing. I'm saying, let's pray. They are wondering what's wrong with me. Is anybody understanding what I'm saying? Have you been there before? I know everybody will raise their hand now. But you know you've been there. You felt alone on the road. Raise your hand. Like people don't understand what you're seeing, what you're sensing, what you're feeling. It's not only you. It happened to Elijah. Some people quote the fact that 7,000 did not bow to bow. Where were the 7,000 when it was time to call a fire? The fact that he did not bow to bow, he didn't bow to bow, does not redeem Israel. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Sitting inside caves and eating morning, afternoon, evening. So you didn't bow to bow. Clap for yourself. You're a virgin. That's what that means. You live holy life. But the territory does not even know you exist. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? God needs Elijah's people who will put their lives on the line. His name means the Lord is God. And that's exactly what he did. The entire nation shouted his name. Many of you don't realize that. The Lord is God. Fulfill destiny, finish. So I was never that kind of person. A journey went on. Interesting story. I share it all the time, but this is a new nation, so I'll share it again. Two people came and met me on Chapel Ground one day. And they said, God said, <laughs> you are one of his generals. I want to connect with you to be a privilege. I said, wow, we thank God. We give God, we give God thanks. I know it's not easy to be a general. Unknown to them, I didn't have prayer life. I didn't have word life. I had no life. But I accepted the title. They said, do you mind if we come and wake you up on Friday? You come and join us for VG. I said, it's all right. You can come. So they came for me. They stopped my precious sleep. Around 12 midnight, they took me to chapel ground. And I was used to a kind of prayer where we lead more than we even pray. Ah, someone doesn't hear what I'm saying. I was a prayer leader, not a prayer warrior. If I lead prayer for you, you'll be under the chair. Shout and cry, wailing. We are going to pray. Drama. So I was armed to the teeth with my prayer points. By the time I'm done, they will know I was not just a general. I was a major, retired general. And so we're going. We got to chapel ground and they don't even come together to say opening prayer. That was the first shock. Just two guys. They walked up to the side and started speaking in tongues. I should have known from the tongues that I'm not a general. 
my tongues was shekitelia, 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 shekitelia. Just one. How many of you have suffered what I'm talking about? Some are even still suffering it. Have you spoken in tongues? Shekitelia, 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 shekitelia. Then you stop. So what is this? Then you continue again. Shekitelia, 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 shekitelia. And sometimes you even stop and laugh. Like, what am I saying? Who has been there before? That's where I was, and they were calling me general. Even lieutenant, I wasn't. But God called the things that be not as though they were. Come on, celebrate Jesus in this house. Because he doesn't live in time. It's you who is trying to become. Where he's speaking from, you are. Come on, look at your neighbor and say you are a prophet. A dangerous prophet. Your neighbor is not, your neighbor is not accepting it. So tell your neighbor, I am a prophet. A dangerous prophet. What I say comes to pass. Please, I need you to join it tonight because we will need it towards the end of my sharing. We're going to change the climate in this nation. Come on, somebody hear what I'm saying? It's not about the numbers. I've seen territorial things happen with 15 people. I'll share some things, don't worry. 15 people who are conscious are more dangerous than 1,000 unconscious people. Huh? Did somebody hear what I just said? I'm showing you scripture. One Elijah turned the whole nation back to God. One! 7,000 in caves hidden. It took how many? One, 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 one. One conscious person carries more value and weight than 7,000 unconscious people running for their lives. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying tonight? So get ready because we are more than one, more than two, more than, oh my God, we are, we are too many. All over scriptures, you see God emphasize that. I told Gideon, these people are plenty. Gideon said, ah. Am I hearing well? We use numbers to fight. We say we should be reducing the number. There are so many. 10,000. What am I using? 10,000. Reduce them. Are you sure? Until you brought it down to how many? 300. Are you a joker? But few with God are a majority. Are we together? So that night, we began to pray in the spirit. And as we we're praying, it reached one hour, one hour, 30 minutes. Remember, that was my first time stretching like that. I had only one tongue. So I managed, managed 15 minutes. I passed my world best <laughs> record. 45 minutes, one hour, I began to get confused. When is this prayer going to start? Because praying understanding, it was prayer for me. Then tongues, you just sprinkle it as icing on the cake. Shukadaba, shukadaba, shukadaba. In Jesus' name. Done. It didn't make sense. One hour, 30 minutes. At this point, I leapt from the stage of confusion to annoyance. By one hour, 45 minutes, two hours, I became possessed. <laughs> I was staring at them angry. They couldn't see me. They were just focusing. I said... <laughs> They came together finally. I was angry. I wish they could just look at my face. Now, why do you do this to a general? I was angry. All of a sudden, they began to travel in the spirit. Because when you stretch to a point, your spirit is energized for travel. Come on, somebody hear what I'm saying? Encounters are simple. Spend time. You hear what I just said? Is you that will be begging Holy Spirit to slow down. Spend what? Time. That's the culture we have lost. Spend time. You spent as much as 12 hours praying the Spirit. Raise your hand. 12 hours. That's why I'm here. Praise God. Listen to me. The app is currently being installed. Just relax. Just listen, all right? You by yourself. 
Sometimes I'll finish sharing, and when people start doing what I shared, I'll be trying to slow them down. This is not how I meant it. Calm down. <laughs> So two hours, they began to prophesy. The first person said, I'm seeing myself right now in Iran. Someone's about to be killed for the gospel. Let's pray that he will not do it. Let's pray that he will be rescued. I shouted, Shekitelia, 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 Jesus. Shekitelia, the man, Holy Spirit. I was confused. <laughs> The second guy said, I'm seeing someone now, a lady about to commit suicide in Sweden. Let's pray for Sweden from Chapel of Resurrection. How did you get to Sweden? What I know is you book flights, apply for visa. This man has reached Sweden and come back. Something is happening in this meeting. I thought I'm the general. I didn't even know. To cut the long story short, they began to speak in tongues and interpret. I said, it's over for me. <laughs> the first person spoke, interpreted. From the tongues, you can tell that this one will have interpretation. This my shekutela, 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 shekutela. How many of you have, have asked those questions? How can I be saying one thing and mean many things? Just follow the story. Everything is intentional. Some of you know, won't know what hits you. You're just laughing, laughing. You know what hits you. After 45 minutes. <laughs> Somebody was interviewing me and saying, how does it happen? You will play, 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 play. After 45 minutes, boom, the thing will just switch. And people are screaming, shouting, crying everywhere. I said, just flow. Understand your anointing and your mantle. And flow with it. Is somebody following? You are currently journeying. Tell your neighbor, we are on a journey. We will soon reach the destination. So please relax. Can you tell your neighbor, relax? God will do it. Tap your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, relax now. God will do it. Some of you will laugh sicknesses away from you. You will laugh yourself into the open door. With joy shall you draw. Intercessors shouldn't be sad people. It's a wrong understanding. I'm an intercessor. I'm not sad. It doesn't mean I don't carry burdens. I had to balance it because that's why many families are in ruins. In the name of the intercessory ministry. I had one friend in school who was always, <laughs> always like that because they are seen as everywhere. You just die. <laughs> if you see what God is doing you will rejoice is somebody hearing what I'm saying some of you need to look into the realm of light more often everything you see is in the dark realm, dark realm. your light is candlelight you're always seeing what demons demons, demons, demons are doing you are never seeing what angels are doing There are more angels than demons. Yes or no? Yes, yes or no? Yes. There are more angels than demons. Why do we see more demons than angels? Hallelujah. Let's keep pushing. So that night, they spoke in tongues. First person spoke, interpreted. Second person spoke, interpreted. And of course, who is the third person? Come on, follow. Now, who is the third person? So I, I was smart enough. I quickly prepared my interpretation before it reached my turn. See, this that was me before don't judge me so as it was reaching my turn i knew the way they are going i'm going to have to speak and interpret ha and they said i'm general i know i will not fall hand today so i prepared my interpretation and they got to me i said shake it till ya shake it till ya shake it till ya and everybody look up. They looked up. <laughs> I said, do you see the moon? They said, they see the moon. Wait, now let me finish. <laughs> I said, you see this white light around the moon? They said, yes. 
I said, I hear God say, now that's how angels are surrounding us. <laughs> Celebrate me now. Uh -uh. <laughs> At that time, listen carefully. I'm just going to drop something, and if you can catch it, catch it. At that time, I thought that was a lie. Now, I know better. You never go wrong with scripture. You know what I just said? Instead of trying to be forensic, start with what is written. It's the sure word of God. It cannot be broken. Are we surrounded or not? Did I tell a lie? Do you understand what I just said? That's why I said that. Then the next one, this one was not Holy Spirit. I said, I'm hearing God say that he has heard us. That's one of the four signs of prayerlessness. They always want to conclude the prayer with the voice of God. <laughs> I'm hearing God say he has heard us. If I enough, it's enough. And that to show him that we know he has heard us, we should leave this place now and go back. So we left. Because we're still looking at me like, ah, we still have hours to go. I said, well, I see here. He said we should leave now. You say I'm a general. General has spoken. So I went back and I said, this will never happen to me again. Thank you, Lord, for delivering me. But it never left me. I never forgot how I felt. It was strange. Who are these guys? That began my journey into what we're sharing tonight. Are we together? First Kings chapter 18. First Kings chapter 18. But before we read First Kings, let me lay a quick foundation. James 5.17. Let's do that quickly. James 5.17. Then we'll go to First Kings. James 5.17. Please give it to us. We'll read it in about three translations. We can start with NKJV. And I are beautiful. And we also read message. So if you have message, give it to us. If you have, I think amplified as well. Together, can we shout it? It's the word of God. One, two, go. It's a man just like us. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain. And it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. And if he says a man just like us. Remember who is speaking? An apostle, right? It means he was making reference, learning from somebody in the Old Testament. This was somebody of a better covenant. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? How many of you have read Old Testament and you feel it's more graphic and interesting? How many of you have been there? You, you read Old Testament and you wonder, where are these strange things? It doesn't happen anymore. A quick digression. If you read the story of Moses and you see how much God did through his life, you see why he became a veil to Israel. You understand and have more compassion on Israel and why they couldn't believe Jesus was the Son of God. How can a man come, 10 plagues, shut down the biggest civilization, the world power, took out God's people? God made him a God to Pharaoh. The sea opened. They walked through on dry ground. Food fell like rain. They ate meat until it was coming from their nose. Climb the mountain and not descend until after 40 days. His face physically glowing. They couldn't even look at it at a point. One day he stood when some people resisted him. And he said, if they die a normal death, God did not come. But if the ground opens up, as he said, but if the ground, the ground said, ah. You are not normal. Before he finished talking, the ground has eaten them. How can such a man say, somebody mightier than me is coming? That prophet, listen to him. Whoever does not listen to him will be destroyed. 
They were looking forward to the prophet. Once John the Baptist came, that's the first question they asked. Who are you? Are you that prophet? Is somebody following? Because they've told us Israel has been waiting for that prophet. Only for the prophet to come. And it's opening blind eyes. Opening deaf ears. Telling lame leg to walk. They were wondering, at what point are you going to manifest? Jesus said, I'm already manifesting. <laughs> then one day they put him, they called him aside and said, Let me see, show us a sign so we can believe. So let's go a step further to explain what we're saying. For example, Moses. Do you remember the scripture? Gave us manna for 40 years. So that means after 40 years of feeding us, we will start processing the thoughts that you are the son of God. Because Moses was not the son of God. Gave us meat for how many years? He said, Some of the greater is coming. You open blind eyes, open deaf ears, told the leper is cleansed, and you are the son of God. Do you understand what I'm saying now? The Old Testament seems to be so graphic. Such a beautiful example, even to the New Testament saints. It means those guys knew something that the New Testament saints must adopt. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? That's why it was made a reference in James 5.17. Are we together now? Give us another version, please. I like this. One, two, go. With a nature like ours. He prayed earnestly that it will not rain. And it did not rain the land for three years and six months. You see endlessly there. Now give us message version. We'll end with this. One, two, we will shout this one very loud. Are we ready? One, two, go! Elijah, for instance, human, just like us, prayed hard. It will not rain and it did not, not a drop for three and a half years. When I saw this, I was shocked that the scripture is saying Elijah was human like us. Why are you saying that? Is that not obvious? Was he not human? But then the Holy Ghost showed me that many of us don't, cannot actually relate with the humanity of these people. I'll show you. How many of you see anointed men of God and believe they don't eat? Raise your hand. Come on, come on now. You see a picture of them eating, you're like, wow. I thought he just drinks bowls of fire. Those sea bowls, just, just, just two bowls, just two bowls of fire. You bless the Lord for your bowls. Order through the link below. Many of us don't realize that we can't relate with the humanity of these saints. So I'll give you a mental picture now so you see how troubling it can be. I want you right now to imagine Jesus. Was he a human being? Let's agree first. Was he human? Just like you? Yes or no? Do we agree? Was 100% human? Beautiful. Do you use the toilet? So can we do this together now? So close your eyes. I want you to imagine Jesus using the toilet. If you are not doing it, you are wrong. I want you to try. Try. For some of you, it might be very difficult because he's the most high God. Try. If you are finding difficulty, raise your hand. Come on, raise it. If you are finding difficult, raise your hand. Try. Try. See, today, even as I give these examples, it's difficult for me to picture it. How many of you can picture it? If you can't, raise your hand. Beautiful. You don't agree that he was human. Somebody's not hearing this teaching. And that's the reason why we can't enter into the things they entered. Because we have not first realized that we are the same. Is somebody following this teaching? Listen to me. There's a reason I'm teaching this. God showed me my ordinations 2018 or so 
had an encounter and I saw my name, David Elijah Oyo. I was wondering who that was. It was security officers that asked me for my ID. When I came out of that, I realized that I was an Elijah as well. It began to make sense, the things I had gone through. That's why prayer seems to be one of my biggest, as it were, missions. I'm pushing very slowly as, as God will permit me. All right? Please pardon me if you notice. I'm just stopping and checking. I don't want to say what I shouldn't say. Once I realized that destiny changed for me, a higher level of consciousness began. I started to see territorial things happen. Listen to me. I was not praying more. I wasn't fasting more. I became more conscious. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? I will stand and declare a thing. And things will start shutting down in territories. Things will start happening in territories. If there's a prince, an agent aligning with forces, they are taking out. Not because I fasted for one year, because I realized what I was. Ah, is somebody hearing what I'm saying? If you cannot relate with their humanity, you can't wear those things they wore. Elijah was like me. That means when he comes for vigil like this, he can feel dizzy. Yes or no? Come on, come on. Are we together? He can feel sleepy. And some of us, once we start praying in the spirit, you start singing songs. You find under a chair to just worship God. As we gather. <laughs> Elijah was like that too. He was human. Do you have issues with fasting? Elijah was like that. Some people look at men of God and think they don't eat. One day I said, I'm going to fast. My first three days fast, marathon fast. I should have known I will not finish that fast. From the way I prepared for it, I swept the room, arranged everywhere, put the bed in, in, I was in 100 level. I didn't make it to 24 hours. I used the first day to sleep. I slept and slept and slept to pass time. So I was just happy, at least I'm having a counter, so I was just writing as I'm waking up. I slept throughout the first day. By 5 a.m. the second day, my eyes opened. <laughs> I ran to the cupboard, picked up biscuits, and ate two pieces, and I was fine. That's how you know your body is a scammer. In three minutes, what I just ate now has entered my bloodstream, and energy has come. Is that not a lie? So if you think you don't like fasting, we're together. If there's anything God just says right now, take this out of the kingdom. You have come into a place in me. And now you get to delete something out of the kingdom. <laughs> Say, Lord, Lord, let's not talk too, too much fasting. Increase the prayer, reduce the fasting. Remember one day I announced in the house, I am going on a fast. Please, I'm going on a fast. Nobody knocks this door until after three days. Somebody knocked on the door 12 p.m. that day, same day. She was not aware of the announcement. Bam, bam, bam. Hello, sir. I said, who is that? Your food is ready. My voice began to shake. My, my, my food. I opened the door in anger. I told you people. And I was walking towards her. 
Where's the food? He says, downstairs. Wait, what is the food? Pounded yam and vegetable soup. If you're Nigerian, you know what I just said. I went downstairs. I was angry, washing my hand and complaining. What is, I will say things. You people will not listen. I've told you. I want to fast. I've told you. I sat down. And that was the end of that fast. By the time it happened the second day again, I knew I can't fast in the house. So you go somewhere, lock yourself. Know what works for you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't tell yourself this thing is not for me because you failed a couple of times. Maybe you knelt down to pray in the morning around 6 a.m. and you woke up at 9 a.m. You don't know how it happened, but you know that you knelt down to pray. That's the last thing you remember. Just knelt down. Lord, 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 Lord. Say, what is it? Say what you want to say. Lord, Lord, I have come. You knelt down at 2 a.m., woke up 7 a.m. Elijah was like that. If you can't relate with it, then don't just forget about reading the remaining verses. He was human like you. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? He too will go on a fast. And when he sees that he has just broken with sweet, does sweet break your fast? He breaks your fast. One sweet is the end of your fast. So when Elijah has taken one sweet, he will say, Sins have already broken it. Let me just destroy it. How many of you have been there? Do you see that this thing is common to all? It's not strange. I've done it. If God can use me, he can use you more. Elijah was like you. So what made him special? Because it doesn't seem like he will command rain and rain will fall. If you say, rain, don't fall, it can increase itself. If it was just drizzling before. Rain, what will have program? Don't fall. The thing will now vex. <laughs> and fall very well. What makes him special? He knew something we must know tonight. Is that alright? Are we ready to journey? The first thing Elijah knew, let's read First Kings chapter 18 now. First Kings 18. I said verse 43, right? Let's start from 42. One, two, go. So Ahab went off to eat and drink, but Elijah climbed to the top of the camel between his knees. So he gave a prophetic word. Someone went to eat. He went up, put his face between his knees. Verse 43, one, two, go. Go and look toward the sea, he told his servants. And he went up and looked. There is nothing, he said. Seven times Elijah said, go back. Verse 44. Servant reported, a cloud as small as a man's hand is rising from the sea. So Elijah said, go and tell Ahab. Hitch up your chariot and go down before the rain stops you. There are principles in these three, four verses that we're going to expound now. Are we ready? The first thing Elijah knew, first, 2 Corinthians 1, 20, the prophetic word must be birthed. 2 Corinthians 1, 20. See that? Can we say it together? One, two, go. For all the promises of God in him are what? And in him what? That is done to the glory of God. Through who? Through us. So if he made a promise, it is amen. Through who? Through us. We give birth to the promises. I had to learn this 2014 
one great servant of God, I don't know if you know some of our men in Nigeria, but one of our fathers, Bishop Francis Waleoke, came to our convention. I was on the keyboard and he turned. That was the first time before I had the encounter and saw my ordinations, my names. He was one of the first people to say it. He just turned and looked at me on the keyboard. I froze on that note I was playing because I thought I played rubbish. <laughs> if you watch some men of God who are sensitive to, the, to what you're playing, they can change it for you if you're not helping them. So I thought I had touched something wrong and it has, it has annoyed him. So he turned to me. I noticed he turned to me. I just stayed there. And he started walking towards me. I said, it is over. <laughs> he wants to delete my name from the book of life. What did I do? He was walking towards me. Then he put his face towel on my head and said, the mantle of David is coming upon you now. The Lord will give you songs in the night. Songs that will revive people, set the captives free change the world and he walked away all right so those who want to give it was like a sudden interruption of what he was doing he was done ministering i don't know if you're getting what i'm saying he had finished he has prayed he has prophesied everything done he was asking people to come and give towards the program do you want to give five thousand you want to give this come and support this meeting that's when he just turned and did that and went back all right as we're saying so i knew that was a god moment for me Ah, but I did what some of you would do. I picked the face away. I put it inside nylon. I laminated it. Ha. My dad is a pastor. He's late now anyway. But he told me after the meeting, I hope you know what happened to you. <laughs> I said, they don't, you don't need to tell me what happened to me. I put the face away at the base of my box. This is my face away forever. Maybe that's the face all I would have brought here for this meeting self. The mantle of Elijah. Ra! Shut up! <laughs> I said my life has changed. So I slept that night expecting to hear, you're a, you're a, so, so. Maybe in my left ear, one sound from heaven. I slept, no song. Okay, I said maybe I slept with my left side. So I slept with my right side the next night. The right hand of God is power. So maybe something's wrong with my left ear. Let me use my right ear. No song. Maybe I'm blocking one ear. So let me sleep straight. So I sleep. <laughs> no song. It was one week before I realized that even song I was, re I was receiving before has now stopped. Ah! Did this man open me or close me? Now, if you know the man I'm talking about, you understand why I'm saying what I'm saying. He's a dangerous prophet of God. My God. What he carries is not in question. He gave Pastor Yaya Deboe, you know that man? <laughs> he doesn't play with this man I just spoke about. He gave him about 30 prophecies as we speak. 28 has come to pass. Gave him prophecies, I'm talking 15, 20 years ago or more wrote down 30 things God will do in his life. 20 what? 28 has happened. His prophetic grace is not in question. I'm not talking about just forensic telling you your phone number. That does not shift a person. You didn't know your phone number before. Oh. You didn't know your name before all these years. 35, you don't know your name. So words of knowledge doesn't shift. It prepares your heart for the shift. Ah, is somebody, I don't want to get distracted. The reason for words of knowledge is to get your heart ready. So you see a person just starts crying ah, at the mention of her name. It's because her heart has opened, right? Like, wow, God knows my name. And then you say, this will happen to you. And then the person believes. But words of knowledge on its own doesn't shift. So a person can give so many forensic prophecies, declare things, and they don't happen. 
you might have experienced what I just said now. And your faith in the prophetic is already waning. But not this man of God. I didn't know, however, that when the prophetic word is given, especially when it's going to be on a major level in manifestation, God will require you to give birth to it. Did somebody hear what I'm saying? All of our scriptures, they are examples. Anna, the prophetess, she was praying for about 65 years. Go and check the scriptures. That woman was 85. The Bible says from the time of her virginity, she had been in the temple day and night fasting. That's the longest intercessory ministry I have ever seen in scripture. And she was praying for who? Jesus. No wonder. It did not matter what the enemy planned. There was enough prayer power ahead of Jesus. Did somebody hear what I'm saying? Notice when Jesus was born. All manner of angelic interruptions. When the wise men want to misbehave, angel will appear. What do you think causes angels to appear? Come on. Did somebody hear what I'm saying? It's energy level. And that's why I'm teaching this thing this night. Because your destiny requires energy. Someone say energy. Come on, say energy. energy. Giving birth itself requires what? Energy. So Elijah knew, yes, God said he would do it. But that promise must be given birth to. Is that clear? Quickly, let's push because of our time. What tells the Elijah know? What else did he know? Number two, are you writing? He knew that God is faithful. First John 5, 14. One, two, go. This is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Verse 15, so you can write 14 and 15. Can we shout verse 15? One, two, go. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. It's that simple. Elijah knew, if I pray, God will answer. As simple as that is, if your prayer life is not standing on this foundation, you'll be praying many prayers and wondering why you're not getting results. He was confident. You won't continue praying if you're not sure. Come on, is somebody hear what I'm saying? When you give up, it means you are not sure. You don't really know the power of prayer. Prayer works. If you are very sure it works, you will not leave that place until the answer comes. Number three, what did Elijah know? He knew the prayer of importunity. Someone say importunity. Luke chapter 18, verse 1. I will dwell on this for a while because this is where we're going. One to go. Then he spoke a parable to them. That men always ought to pray and not lose hearts. Can you give us in two other versions? Two other versions. One, two, go. Jesus told them a story showing that it was necessary for them to pray how? And never what? Quit. Did you get that? Just to pick his disciples, the Bible says he prayed all night. Night begins by 6 and ends by 6 a.m. So if he prayed all night, he prayed how many hours? 12 hours. If he prayed 12 hours and picked Judas, you now know why you have 11 Judas and one disciple in your church. I hope somebody is not just laughing. They are hearing what I'm saying. 
at the depth of saying it. All that anger, confusion. They don't listen. They don't listen. Even those that were not Judas, you make them Judas with your prayerlessness. Words don't change people. Power does. And prayer generates power. I read a book by a Cameroonian called Zacharias T. Fomo. Zacharias Tani Fomo. Damaged my life. Jesus. An intercessor. Once he died, I think at age 70 or so, that year, churches closed down. Till today, after his death. That's how you know the power of one man. Somebody's not hearing what I'm saying. You can check these things. Check the year he died. Check the year the government shut everything down. You will know the value of a person's presence. Queen of Scotland said, I fear the prayer of who? Eh? Read these stories. It will inspire you for this subject. I'm speaking as though I'm speaking to intercessors, right? Right? Not just people who just want God to give them a car, a house, a baby, husband and wife. I fear the prayer of John Knox more than the entire army. What kind of prayer was he praying? Somebody following? A prayer of opportunity. Lengthy prayers. Staying for hours and sometimes days. I was not used to that. And that's why I shared the story I shared. So those friends told me that there is a group of people that pray and they see results. As young people, if you are old, you don't inspire me. Because for goodness sake, if you have reached 40, 50, 60, and you are not seeing the power of God in your life, if you are seeing the power of God in your life, it's not an inspiration because if you've used 20 years... <laughs> And there's still no result. How are you supposed to inspire me? If you are seeing results, you don't inspire me. What inspires people is when a person is a young achiever. Yes or no? You don't... Even in the world. When a person is a young achiever, they are celebrated. It's not a big deal when you have grown. Are you getting the picture I'm painting? So if you're listening to me and you're young here, Catch this thing now. Man, God used to bless me, cast out his first demon at the age of 11. Is there a young person here? A young child? Because this night, we're activating those people. Did anybody bring any child here? Yeah. Many of the things I'm saying, they will maximize it even more. Is somebody hearing? I got all the people in our church, four years and above, filled with the Holy Ghost. And I began to take them on retreats. Six year olds, 11 year olds, 12 year olds, for them for two weeks. They will fast three days marathon, no food. And they will pray in the spirit for 15 hours daily. Did you hear what I just said? Is it sinking now? I think I've jumped the gun. Let me go back to where I'm starting from. I'm coming there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about 2016. But how did all this start? Me too, I thought if you pray 12 hours, you will die. Is it human beings that are praying like that? I didn't know I was already dead. So these people told me about that fellowship that sees signs and wonders, they see results. And I was touched. They are young people like me. I thought I had to be old before I have sense. So I can be young. And God will still use me. I saw the secret. I followed him for the camp meeting. We arrived at the camp meeting. The night we arrived, the pastor came out around 11 p.m. And said, we're about to start praying. Remember, I'm a prayer leader. I love prayer leading. So the more you lead, the more interesting the prayer is. What I'm used to is one hour prayer, we use like 15 minutes to lead prayer. 
his remaining 10 minutes were actually praying. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? We will talk about the problem so much that there's no faith to even pray <laughs> for the solution. That's what I was used to. I checked the news yesterday. COVID is everywhere. This world has spoiled. Everything is finished. Do you see the price of milk? Who bought milk today? We will talk and talk and talk. And... We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Are you following? We are going... We are... <laughs> Tonight, we shall pray. We will talk and talk by the time it's time to pray. We will pray 30 seconds. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. It's like you didn't understand what I said. I said the price of me. <laughs> So that's what I was used to. But these guys took me to this camp meeting. I had days to pray for stretch hours. It didn't make sense to me, but I said, let me go. I knew our fathers used to pray like that. But I couldn't do it to myself. So I said, let me go to someone that would do it to me. So I went. By all means, don't tell yourself it's not for you. If somebody hearing what I'm saying, do it first and see the quality of your life. Many of these we are enjoying as a nation is because of this principle I'm sharing. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? That's the secret of the Nigerian church. God sent apostles like Apostle Babalola. His destiny was to open up the West. He prayed. Jesus appeared to him and gave him, cut yam into two. Gave him yam, he half and said the remaining half is for the rest of the body of Christ. <laughs> I don't know if you heard what I just said. <laughs> he cut yam into what? The yam represented fasting. I know it wasn't just for him, but for everyone in his stream. That stream fasts like no man business. You know when you don't have something. I've told you how my relationship with fasting is. Some of you are probably thinking, yeah, this man of God does not fast. That's not the case. But it's a sacrifice. <laughs> for some people, they don't even know when they've not eaten. It's not like that for me. I know when I'm eating. I know when I'm not eating. How many of you are like me? You are not confused. You know. You have skipped two meals. I have skipped four. That man will fast. He will start praying on Sunday night and realize himself on Wednesday night. He wants to bless food. Father, ni oruko Jesu das Yoruba. Ni oruko Jesu. And he was at praying for somebody in Jamaica. Somebody in his understanding, not in tongues. He will be caught up at the dinner table. They will finish eating. The next morning they will have breakfast, have lunch, have dinner. He's still praying on that seat. And you say that's a normal person. So when we say signs and wonders happen in his life, that was collateral damage. His destiny was to open up the territory. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? That's the labor of an intercessor. You might not even know you, but when you stand before Jesus, my God, see the glory that will be on your face because you made him smile. Celebrate Jesus everywhere. So I went for that meeting. And the pastor came out and read Jeremiah 3 verse 3. Call unto me and I will answer thee and show the great mighty things which I know is not. That's our prayer point. We're going to start praying now. And this prayer will not end until the sun is up and hot. We're about to start praying at 11 p.m. What time? 11 p.m. When does the sun come up? In Kenya, when does the sun Eh? When does it get hot? So you know that it's 12 hours. Yes or no? So I will say, ah, will this happen? Are you sure? Wait till sun. I was still talking to myself. Prayer started. Around 2 a.m., of course, you know my tongues would have finished. Remember my tongues? Come on, remember my tongues. What was the tongue? 
I told somebody we'll forget. You still remember? Sheketelia. Not sectarian. I said Sheketelia. Don't spoil my tongues for me. Praise God. I had fellowship with Sheketelia. Four years, it did not leave me. I said, God, don't you have any other slave? Pity me. That's why when I'm chanting now, I think God is just, is just compensating me for all the stress I went through. Sheketelia. I will lick my lips. Sheketelia, 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 Sheketelia. I'll say it fast, say it slow. Sheketelia, why? <laughs> Hallelujah to Jesus. So that night I had finished Sheketelia and there was nothing remaining. So I was just trekking, walking, because we couldn't sit down. That's part of the rules. You don't sit down for how many hours? 12. You don't kneel down before your maker and worship God. You stand in awe of him throughout. So you now understand why I said, I'm not sure I can go for it. I can do this. They have to do it to me. They grouped us into chariots, 2020. By chariots, by about 10 chariots. So about 200 people were there. In my chariots, I saw a guy who was just trekking. This was 3 a.m., no light, and we just walking on the field. The guy stopped and he shouted, Pastor Tipami, oh, Pastor Tipami means Pastor has killed me. <laughs> so I was laughing the way you are laughing. I was just laughing. I was using everything to catch crews and just kill time. A second person. He was just standing and looking at blackness. Nothing, just standing and looking. The next thing I had, Jesus, why? So I was laughing. The way I, laugh, I was laughing. They helped me not to be too frustrated. The next day, people jumped fence and went back home because they locked the gate. Is it by force to pray? I'm sorry, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I don't know why I got brought here myself here. I never understood. I'm sorry, sir. I want to go. <laughs> so when I started doing the same thing to people, some people were thinking I was revenging. I wanted to do to others what they've done to me. In Kano, some years ago, I think 2019 or so, December, I went for a meeting in Kano, having 12 hours. And this little girl was lying down, like in second or third row. And I went towards her, tapped her. She was about 8, 12 or 13. And she was crying. I thought she was having an encounter. So I tapped her. I said, hello, lady. Is everything okay? Yes. Did you see something? No. Okay. Did you hear something? No. Okay. Are you sick? No. Ah, okay. We oh, are hungry. No. Ah, ah. Why are you crying then? I don't want to pray again. I burst into laughter. I said this girl will not remember me with a good memory for a very long time. opportunity it was in that 12 hours at around 11 a.m. I had an encounter that eventually came to pass that year I saw a skyscraper in the midst of rusty roofs it was as though that skyscraper was draining the life of the city the skyscraper fell and God said I have judged the principality in my territory. Few weeks after or so, that major principality in our territory died. He came out online on newspaper and said, I dominate this territory. He said it. He died. That was my first introduction to these things. No person can stand and say they are in charge 
when you, the son of God, is in that territory. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? In the midst of that prayer, one lady said something, the leader of our chariot said something that stirred me up to go further. She said, you know you will never pray like this until this time next year. Ah, Holy Spirit drove it in. Are you seeing what they just said? They just summarized your whole year of prayer. You can never pray like this. I said, me? Okay. I go back to my location. I doubled the hours. We did 12 hours there. I doubled it. We did 24. I can never forget. 2011 December. By the next year, we ran 12 hours again, January, twice. And I went for my first ministration. I didn't know my battery was being charged. Someone said, charges. I can't hear you say, charges. That's how I started. Ah! Speak in tongues. Oh. Speak in tongues. Charge yourself, you will see results. How do you sing for 45 minutes and nobody's healed? They tell you they were blessed. Oh, we're blessed. How were you blessed? We were lifted. How were you lifted? <laughs> we're overwhelmed. How? How? What happened to you? We were changed. You changed to what? We were transformed. That's how you know nothing happened to that person. If you can't put your hand on what God did, please. That's one encounter. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Those kind of testimonies get me angry. Please testify to somebody else. If nothing happened, don't come and stress me. When God touches you, you know. Yes or no? Once I was blind, now I see. Something must change. A tangible difference. Prayer lives are reawakened here in the name of Jesus. Come on, if you say a good amen, you get it now. Those dead altars catch fire now, 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 in the name of Jesus. Glory to God forever. So we began to push, and I started seeing the power of God in my life. I'll go for meetings, and the game changed. Of course, when you start seeing results, you don't stop again. Right? Yes or no? Once you see what works, you keep punching that button. That's how my addiction to prayer started. I said, ah, I'm not going to have it any other way. So we began praying 12 hours every month. Talking 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014. That went on and on. By 2013, God began to unlock us into another level. Because this thing is in levels, Right? So I had gotten used to the power of God. I was seeing the anointing, deaf ears, blind eyes, things were happening. I was happy casting out demons, you know. Praying the Holy Ghost increases you in consciousness. When your consciousness is heightened, you get results quickly. What people use six hours to do and they're happy about. I used to see people cast out demons for hours. The day I encountered one demon and we're praying, Six hours, demon has not left. It got to a point where we so tired and exhausted. We began to beg the demon. Go. Go. The day is breaking like the angel <laughs> said to Jacob. The day is already breaking. Come and be going. <laughs> okay, do as if you have gone. Let's leave. It was frustrating. You know when you have stopped expecting it to go, we're now seeing who the demon reacts to. We're like five. So we surrounded the demon and we started speaking. Ah, someone is not understanding what I'm saying. We started speaking one by one. In the name of Jesus, I declare. Ah, it's demon. Ah, so he reacted to me. So next person. Did you understand what I just said? We're taking turns, just seeing at least, okay, who is who's charged small? By 5 a.m., the lady just laid down on the floor and I said, this thing did not go anywhere. But let's quickly leave before she starts doing ah again. I told God, 
I will never experience this again. Show me the way. Anything you want me to do, I will do. This is not the life I want to live as a Christian. If you are doing six hours per demon, you will die before your time. So I see people do ah, ah, I shout, what is wrong with you? Never in scripture will you see that. Out with one word, all of them get out. That became the order of my life. Everything begins in the place of what? Prayer. So sharp prayer power. Come on, come on. Sharp prayer power. power. The word of God will be effective when you pray. So when you say, ah, it's about the word, my dear, it's prayer that energizes. We will give ourselves continually to what? Prayer. And to what? Stop teaching if you don't pray. You are wasting people's lives. I can show you what you are doing to them. You are filling their heads and making it twice difficult for them to have encounters. If you are not charged, leave the pulpit alone. spend time he prayed again go and check that's the last key I will leave that Elijah knew number four are we ready prophetic acts that fast track the manifestation this one is very important when I do territorial things like we will do tonight I check. It's a principle. Okay, let me give you another, another example. This one, we won't do it practically. I'm feeling the power of God. Hmm. My God. The angels are just, ah, oh yeah, let us move. <laughs> I'm wasting their time already. Let's move. Let's enter this hall. You are sick in any part of your body pain, any issue, any condition, growth, whatever it is, put your hand where it is and raise your right hand. Quickly, 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 I want to do practical. Are we ready? If you are beside any of them, just put your hand on their shoulder. Please let everyone be touched by somebody, alright? If you see somebody's hand up, extend love and fellowship, put your hand on their shoulder. I'm CC many people with hands up, nobody's touching them. All right, close your eyes. In the name of Jesus, I declare and declare right now, angels of this anointing, move into this hall, remove things from people's bodies. Let surgeries happen right now instantly miracles in their bodies let long-standing cases be resolved somebody's eyesight has just been healed you will notice you can see clearer after now i command every ear that is experiencing partial deafness or total deafness one ear or the other i command it right now healed in the name of jesus i declare from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet let the power of god touch you in Jesus mighty name can you celebrate Jesus everywhere now start checking start checking by doing the principle of checking if you need to stand stand test yourself you need to stand and check check you are not looking for the pain you're looking for the healing check do what you couldn't do come on come on I'm seeing only one person checking we are following the principle of checking. Test. Do what you couldn't do. Once you notice you have been healed, start waving your hands. God bless you. You want to testify? What happened to you? Do we have someone that can do it fast? Let's take about 10 testimonies. Check, check. If you notice you have been healed, only those people start clapping. 
if you notice, check yourself. You notice you have been healed. Start clapping. Only those people. Only those people. Only those people that were healed. You notice a difference. Just start clapping. Start clapping. You start clapping. You notice a difference. Just those persons. Start clapping. I'm engaging a principle and I'm showing you how it works. When you start clapping, you're acknowledging that it is different. See what I'm saying? And as you acknowledge, it increases from 30% to 60% to 100%. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? When Elijah, hold on please. When Elijah started praying, the answer started coming. Yes or no? It's not when it manifests physically that the answer started coming. Come on. In fact, if you notice, when he said, tell Ahab to hurry, has rain started falling? Come on, has rain started falling? He had gotten the sign that he saw in his spirit. Same thing for Daniel. When the angel arrived, thou, Daniel, highly favored of God, from when you started praying, the answer started coming. Yes or no? The answer begins once you pray. Because God hears you. Can you say, God hears me? Come on, God hears my prayer. If Daniel was favored, how much more is you? He wasn't a child of God. Did he have the Holy Spirit in him as it were? He wasn't speaking in tongues. The blood had not washed his sins. And he will pray and receive heaven's favor. How much more you? Come on, quickly. Let's hear some three, five testimonies quickly as we push. Praise the Lord. What I've happened been, before? What's happening now? I've been having back pains for more than two years. And they, two years? Yes, yes. And I went to the hospital and they said L4 and L5 has been bending and I've been going for therapy. So but it's four and I didn't get that. Uh, on, on the lower part of the spinal cord, there are discs and L4, L5, they had been bending on one Disc side. Disc 4 and 5 have been bending. Yes, so I've been going for therapies. What? But, yes, but no improvement. But when you prayed, I just noticed like lightness on my lower part of the... What couldn't the, you do before? So, okay, uh, I didn't have struggle doing anything, but after I had do a lot of work in the, in the evening, I would have much pain. So I feel relaxing of muscles and lightness on that Lightness part. in that area. Can we celebrate Jesus? It's permanent in Jesus' name. Next person, somebody wants to give God the glory. Praise Jesus. When I was coming, I, I would hear like an arrow at the center of my book. Hear what? My back. Like an arrow. Arrow? Yes. Okay. At the center of my How shoulders. How does it feel like? And when you, how does when it I, feel like? How does it feel like? It was painful, and whenever I, I work, it pains like it that. Pains. So it was paining you in this meeting too. Ye yes. And it's not paining you now. And it's not paining me now check, after check, prayers. Check, check, check. I have already checked. Oh, celebrate Jesus! She has already mm -hmm. checked. Next person, please. Praise God. So before I came uh, to this church, I was feeling. A lot of body aches in my body and uh, I was shivering even as uh, the minister was ministering I was feeling so much pain but when he prayed I felt like fire all over my body you felt heat yes, all over your heat. body yes yes and the body aches are gone and then I could not Beautiful. swallow even saliva but now you are swallowing saliva. saliva yes swallow again swallow saliva <laughs> next person please that was the anointing she felt. Notice I said I was feeling something. That's the same thing she began to sense on her body. Those angels are standing by. They want to do something in families. And I'm checking with the Holy Ghost. I thought we came for Kenya. Praise well, I God. guess we are Kenyans, right? So it will start with us. Some people's family members will be healed now. Your amen is looking as if you think I'm joking. Let me give you a story. You know, we like stories. If we don't tell stories, we won't believe. I was in Mina in Nigeria and people shouted like we will shout tonight. I believe the power of God can travel. It can enter bus. It can enter flight. Book ticket. 
move to another country, touch somebody. One lady shouted. And we said, rejoice. As she did, the power of God came upon her mother. She has been 18 years bedridden. How many years? Know what 18 is? She has not walked in. How many years? 18 years. As she shouted in the hall, the mother felt a strange presence all over the room where she was. Then she noticed she had strength. Put her leg on the floor. Stood up. After how many years? Nobody laid hands on her. The power of God traveled. Who wants power to travel this night? It will travel on your behalf this night. That centurion told Jesus. He said, I'm not worthy for you to come under my roof. Only what? Send the word. And Jesus marveled and said, this guy has sense. Many people stress Jesus. Jesus must even come with handkerchief. After he has finished praying, he must leave his handkerchief behind. This man said, don't stress yourself from where you are. Some people online will be touched by the power of God as we are speaking now. Yeah. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm hearing it. Someone just got healed online. If you have your testimony, send it in quickly. The power of God will touch people online. People will come under the influence of the Spirit this night. What happened to you, man? Praise God. Hallelujah. I've had nerve problem. My discs had been uh, shifted. They had shifted one lying on the other and, and the nerve had been trapped inside. Wow. I've had a doctor even from India who has treated me. I have flown to following him to hospitals when he comes to Kenya. But when you just prayed, I had a shift. A sharp pain has just shifted. Shifted the disc. Yes, the disc. And my leg is calm. You can feel calmness. What did you used to feel before? What was your experience? Before? A lot of fire right from the hip joint and running down. You're feeling what? A lot of fire. You're feeling fire. the anointing. It, it, it. it. So Hit. what pain were you feeling before, before now? That is the pain I was feeling before. Oh, you were feeling like fire. Even sleeping at exactly three o'clock, it starts paining. Okay. The, the pain comes and the whole place is on fire. Even where okay. I sleep, it's just fire. But right now, the discs have just gone back to normal because I had the pull. What couldn't you do before? You had it. Yes. You had it as it just shifting from this side to this side see what god is doing in this place come on celebrate jesus in this house father we thank you father we thank you i want to bring it to an end but i think i should just take like two more two more interesting ones something happened to you please don't hold it back all right this is how we receive establishment jesus said were there not 10 lepers that were healed? How come it's only this one that came back to give me glory? The next statement he made, he said, go, you are made whole. So completeness comes when we share testimony. God doesn't bless you so you can keep it to yourself. He wants everyone to be strengthened and encouraged. That's why the scriptures were written, right? When you read Abraham's story, you believe God can give you a child. I hear the Lord say to me right now, somebody who has waited for at least 10 years for the fruit of the womb, this night, the Lord has given you your babies. If you want three, take the three. You want 10, take the 10. As many as your heart desires. In the name of Jesus. I saw that twice before coming. I'm seeing it again right now. I believe the anointing has solved that. Who is sharing? Please go ahead, ma. Praise God. So I've had back pain from when I was in Form 1. That was 2014. That's till, how many years? Six years. Till today. Right? Eight years. Till so, today. Yeah. So it made me be such that I couldn't stand for long. If I stand for long, I start feeling pain. If I sit for long, I start feeling pain. Yeah. If I carry my bag to school, I feel pain. But when you were praying, before you started praying, I was feeling the pain in my back because I'd 
sad for long. Now it's gone. It's gone. Check, 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 check. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. It's gone forever. It will never come back again. Let's hear one or two more and then we keep pushing. Somebody has raised a hand here. Jesus, keep me hungry. years ago in a moving bus <laughs> and I got a dislocation in my spine so one disc dislocated <laughs> so many bone issues uh, for some weeks I couldn't move from the bed so I was taken to hospital for therapy I went for therapy three times and the doctor said everything is okay but from that time back aches have been on and off when I was seated here uh, I was feeling pain because if I sit for long, stand for long, bend or do heavy work, I'll feel pain. But when you prayed, the pain just left. I can't feel the pain again. It's gone forever in Jesus' name. Amen. I saw somebody with an eye condition. Who is the person? I saw somebody. I said it. Is it online? Please, let's check. All right? Checking activates releases that power somebody got healed of an eye condition please check go ahead i want us going to keep going now last person please all right praise the lord uh what's happening uh on my leg at the hip was having some 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 pain some sharp pain and uh, it's been there for a couple of like uh, uh months I don't, I don't even know where it came from. It's just been there. And at times, I just fight it. But when you just prayed, I just felt uh, the pain just leave. Praise the Lord. I didn't hear you. The pain just left. The pain just left. Yes. Glory to God. Can we celebrate Jesus? Yes. All right. Now, I said that to show that when we check, we fast track the manifestation. Some people checked, they noticed there was no difference, and you stopped checking. That's why you're not seeing Elijah's result. Elijah checked how many times? Is somebody following this teaching now? That's why we don't see results. We are not stubborn. You don't check if you are not sure it's coming. If somebody said, I'm coming to see you at 5 p.m., and you checked at 5, the person was not at the door, and you never go again to check. It means you are not expecting the person to come, right? You don't trust the person's integrity. God said he will heal you. And you have stopped checking after the first time. Keep on checking! Elijah knew this. One man killed about 70 people on New Year's Day in Nigeria, Port Harcourt. We were praying in January that year. And I began to sense that judgment. So I called the people. We were not more than 10, 15. But I know when it has come. Those angels that put things in order. The Bible says when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Not everybody will change because you spoke to them and encouraged them. Some people will change when there is judgment on the earth. Angels slapped Herod's destiny, resetted him, worms came out of his mouth. How do you sit as God? He picked an apostle, killed him. Picked the second apostle. The church were looking at him. We are coming to that. In that meeting, we released judgment. And the next morning, the first thing I checked was Facebook to see if something had happened in the nation. Because when you release judgment, you expect feedback. Yes or no? We're going to do things this night. I hope somebody's ready. Things will happen this night. I will start watching on the news. 
as things begin to unfold. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? Do you believe? That's what makes this thing sweet. When there's results. We left Benin Republic. Ah. Praise God. I've already said the nation, so let me just finish the story. <laughs> we had one meeting. And we began to sense this thing also. And I wanted to test it in another territory apart from Nigeria. And I said, people who have sold themselves to the devil as gateways for darkness to invade a nation they are taking out now the next week a major person went down you know what went down means he went to the down <laughs> the church will keep praying that Herod should release every apostle he picks up. When you take out Herod, the church has peace. Did you hear what I just said? Anyone in this nation that the enemy is using to frustrate the church, I decree in this atmosphere, they are shut down now. Their days are numbered. In 21 days, I don't like the way you are responding. Am I alone? Are you, are you with me on this? In 21 days, let judgment hit all the sons of wickedness. In the name of Jesus! So the next day, we checked online and we saw this guy who killed 70 innocent people he just came out on new year's day and started shooting people dead why why will you let wickedness continue you are a wicked person to do that that man was caught and killed him and his assistant i came out in the meeting and i said prayer has been answered let the enemy know that you have a voice is somebody hear what I'm saying? In your territory, don't let darkness invade the system. Or it starts with rising in the secret place. Let your incense rise, let your fragrance be, be very, very evident everywhere that this believer is here. And when you make decrees because of your investment, the territory knows your voice, it will cough them out. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? We made a decree one day that nobody will die within our vicinity. Listen, this is a very funny one. In church, the market close to church, two people had an accident in front of the market, died. They took them to the mortuary. They both came back to life. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Can I share some stories with you? I'm sure because I've killed my lion and my bear. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's the confidence David speaks with. I'm not just saying, I'm not just testing it for the first time. Lion, lions to show. I have bears to show. God answers prayers. For your sake, start killing your lions and bears. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't wait till the day Goliath shows up to start testing your armor. Know what works and use it Problems don't announce themselves before they come. All of a sudden, one child slums in school. They call you. Hello, sir. Your child just slums and has died. And you start shouting, Jesus, what will I do? Practice now. You hear what I just said? Practice now. With one word. Put the phone on his ears. You declare, I command you, go back. That can be the difference between life and death in somebody's life. Don't wait till the day of adversity. Start practicing now. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? God answers prayers. So prophetic acts, there are things you do, one of them is also to rejoice. You can't rejoice if I'm not sure answer is coming, right? It's a prophetic act. 
one of them is to start checking the price of land. Ah, somebody's not hearing what I'm saying. Start checking, start checking, start checking. Start writing applications, start sending. If you're sure something happened to you, then there's a way you behave. How can you pray? You finish praying, God answered. You are still looking sad. You don't believe he answered. Faith is substance, 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 substance. Is substance. Your posture must change if you believe that he has answered you. Yes or no? You will go out happy. Ah, I have it. That's faith. It's just a matter of time to manifest. Elijah knew it. Has rain started falling when Elijah said, go and tell Ahab? Yes or no? Did he continue praying? Uh -uh. When he said, go and tell Ahab, did he continue praying? That means he knew the answer has come. When the answer has come, you will know. And if you truly know, you won't be going against the, your conviction. Got up and began to run ahead. Celebrate Jesus in the house, everyone.